Welcome back to Aliens. My name is Devin Reddy and in this video we will talk about Go language or you can call it as Go Lang. Now Go is a language developed by Google and it is very promising. In fact, that's what JetBrains says. Uh, so JetBrains recently done a poll uh, with uh, 7,000 developers and then these are the takeaways. So the takeaway is, uh, so Java is the most popular primary language as everyone knows about it. And then JavaScript being a most used overall language. And then Python, the most studied language because it is easy to learn and that's why we're getting so many views on Python series. And the most important one, the Go language. And Go is the most promising programming language. Now my reason of learning a Go language is not because of this, it's because of the new technologies. So Hyperledger Fabric promotes Go language as their primary language, right? And then there are certain technologies like Docker, Kubernetes, they are developed in Go language. So yes, it's a very powerful language and let's learn something about Go in this video. Now Go is developed by Google as I mentioned and Go is a compiled language. Now when you say it's a compiled language which means when you write a code, when you write a source code, you simply have to compile that and that will generate a machine code directly, right? Now again, uh, you might be thinking, hey, this is also done in C and C++, right? And that's right. So Go is actually coming from, it's taking their base from C and C++, not like Java and Python where we have virtual machines. Uh, we don't have that in Go language. So it will help you to improve the performance, right? Now, if you go to the official website of Go, which is golang.org, uh, so that's the mascot of Go. And on this website, you will find the documentations and then uh, the companies who are using Go now. And when it comes to documentation, it has a very small document, not because they don't have proper docs, it's just that they have a proper small document because Go is a small language. So when I say small, it's basically is minimalistic. So Go has some features and you can do a lot of things with that. Uh, so in, in fact, I read somewhere that Go is the future language for web. So maybe in future, there will be a lot of websites or web applications built on Go, even the web services. Now the next question would be, is it easy? Now compared to language like Java, yes, it is much easier because it has less features to focus on and it, it, does, it don't have the confusing part which you have in Java. Uh, so yes, it's an amazing language to learn. And so if you want to learn this, of course, I will try to create a series. Let me know your thoughts. Do you want a series on Go? Uh, because I'll be, I'll be letting this be for my own purpose, for my own projects, but then if you let me know if you want it. Now, if you want to experiment with Go, they provide you a playground. So yes, you don't have to do initial setup. Yes, we do need setup for if you want to make a project, but if you want to learn, they have a playground here. So you can just click on this playground. I will open a new tab with this. So when you click on playground, this is what you get. So this is where you can write a code and you can simply click on run. What it will do, it will send your script to the server for the compilation because you don't have a setup on your machine and then you will get the output. So basically you can run your applications, you can run your first code without any setup. So that's your code. Now, if you know basics of programming, maybe Java, C or C++, uh, you will be understanding some of it. So basically in Java, we do create package, same way we have a package here. Uh, Sometimes we have to import packages, right? Because if you use some external features or if you want to use any feature, you need to import some packages. That's what we are doing here. We are importing a package FMT, which is for format. And of course, if you want to run this code, we have to write a main method or a function. Uh, so in Go, we call them as functions. When it is an open part, the moment you write inside a class or something, you will be making at, you can call them as methods. As of now, we do have a main function here. And inside this, you just printing something. So it is printing hello and something in different language. Let's use hello world. We can try that, right? And then this is printing it. Again, uh, well, let's not go into depth of it. What is happening behind the scene as of now, just click on run and you can see we got the output as hello world. Of course, you need internet connection for this, but if you are opening this website, of course you have an internet connection with you. So that's that's how you write the first code. In fact, you don't even have to open playground. You can see if you go to the website again, uh, you can do that here as well. So whatever code you want to write, you can just write that code and click on run. Uh, you will get the code. Now, if you want to download Go, you can do it from here. You can, you can use different IDs here. Uh, you can use Eclipse, you can use uh, a VS code. So whichever favorite ID you prefer, you can use that. It's just that you need a Go compiler. Now in terms of comparison between different languages, Go is faster. It has amazing feature and the best part is it's a new language. Okay, when I say new, it's not that new. It's been almost been 10 years now, but yes, compared to other languages, it's, it's new. It has some awesome features to work with and then 
the advantage would be if you learn Go, you, I mean, we have few developers available in the market who knows Go, right? So you'll be one of them. So it's an amazing language to try it out. Let me know your thoughts. Do you want a series on Go? Anyway, I have to learn that for my own projects. Let's see if, if I can make a series. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you want a Go series, let me know by typing Golang and otherwise just skip this video. So that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.